Hello there, I'm Stefan Gates. I'm absolutely fascinated by food. I love eating, but I'm always very keen to know exactly what's in the food that I'm eating. Just watch this. I'm going to find out which cereal has the most sugar in it. Please do not try this at home. This experiment should only be repeated by a teacher in controlled conditions, and you'll see why in a minute. So I've got two types of cereal here, the kind of everyday cereals that you might have for your breakfast. But in fact, they've got very different amounts of sugar in them. I've crushed the cereal up a little bit, and I'm going to add a small amount of this chemical called sodium peroxide to each bowl of cereal. And we'll see what happens. But first, I'm going to put on some gloves. And I'm going to protect my eyes with these goggles. So I'm going to add some sodium peroxide to each. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to the first cereal to start the reaction. Yeah, not very much reaction there at all. Well, let's try the second one. Wow. Well, this one is obviously much more dramatic, and it's the sugar burning. So I know that this cereal has much more sugar in it. Of course, you don't have to do an experiment like this to find out the sugar content of something that you're eating. It's all done for you. Just look at any food packaging, and you'll see a list telling you how much protein, carbohydrate, fibre, fat and salt it contains. And it'll sometimes tell you how much of the RDA, the recommended daily allowance of vitamins and minerals, are in the food product. It's all useful information. But how else do we decide what to eat? Is it simply a matter of taste and an awareness of what's healthy and unhealthy? Should we be free to eat anything we want? And is there any reason why some foods should be banned? 